Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CVM. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame, but it does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis on Wednesday, so that is where the green and red line annotations are coming from. And not necessarily update, that's probably not the right word, but confirmation would be a, a, a word that would totally pertain. The first point of confirmation comes via the levels of support. So if you did watch yesterday's video, I talked about this level right here at around 770 being uh, an area of support. And you can see that with the pullback that did happen, after the nice you know, start to the day, the price came all the way down there. And sure, it didn't hit it exactly, but it got within the ballpark of it. So 770 has been uh, confirmed as an area, or at least I should say a general area where the, there does seem to be buyers hanging out because there's been a couple of other instances uh, where the price is held above there. So point being, 770 remains that uh, initial area of support. In the event the price cannot hold above 770, the next key level would be right down there at that purple line, the 50 period, simple moving average which currently is valued at 743, but remember that is a moving average, meaning that line is gonna move as time goes on, and therefore that value will move and change. So if the price were to drop below 770, then just as a trader, you'd have to get a little bit more proactive and take an inventory check on what the, the current value of that uh, moving average is, if the price even falls below it. I'm not saying that's what's gonna occur, but if it does, yeah, you'll just have to be a little bit more proactive. The flip side of confirmation is in regards to this area of resistance that I talked about, right up here around 820. So you can see that, yeah, it was temporarily broken, and I would agree that 820 was weakened up today as resistance, but when the price fell back below it, then you can see it immediately tried to turn around and get back above there, but 820 went back into uh, resistance mode. So 820 remains that uh, key area of resistance. Like I said, I would agree that it's a weakened up level of resistance, but it is still a resistance nonetheless. If the price could push up through 820, the next key level would just simply be where the party stopped. Um, earlier on in the day, and that's right up there around $8.45. So overall, big picture wise, the price continues to chip away and build higher bases, and that's the name of the game. So we'll see how this one continues to play out and how it closes out the week tomorrow on Friday. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.